Um, I hope some of my uh, rambling here at, can help some of you guys see results. You know, if you're pre-op and pre-T, there's not a whole lot of things you can do to really feel like you're transitioning. But with all the work I put into my body and, and the supplements, all my changes happened over a year. So it was slow. Um, so I was able to transition, but I was, it was at a pace that I was crawling. I mean, I was crawling, but that was all I could do. So I crawled. So it, it, it really helped me mentally and emotionally knowing that even though I had to wait for my finances to be in the right place, um, you know, for X, Y, Z to fall into place in my life so I could transition. It helped me extremely to know that I was doing everything I could already. That being said, there are more supplements you can buy um, to aid the natural transition. Um, I didn't write them all down before he took them off the site and published his book, so I just had the ones that I was going off of. I know there are more. I, I honestly kind of meant to buy his book and and get some of them, but I just am so busy all the time that I, I never had the time to do that more thoroughly. Um, and honestly, I'm really broke, so the DHEA is pretty cheap, the ZMA is pretty cheap, um, and you know, maintaining that, I'm, I'm sp probably spending less than 30 bucks a month on the supplements, so I, I, you know, I could get more, but it's like, I don't even know if I can really afford more, and I, and I was getting some okay results off of what I was doing, so, uh, So I, I just stuck with that. And I, I do think that going on these hormones gave me a, a really good idea of what it is like, probably, to be on T. I mean, I know T is faster and more extreme. I'm not kidding myself about that. Like I said, I know I've been crawling. But I think it has helped me emotionally prep for it. It made me 100% certain that this is what I want. And that is important. Uh, you know, before going into a transition like this. This is a huge life-changing thing. And people keep, like, you know, I I feel like I began my transition a year ago, but it wasn't until, like, the last few months that I really was coming out to people and telling them I want to transition, I want to do this. You know, I got, I scheduled my surgery as soon as, you know, I knew I had the money. And everyone's like, oh my gosh, you're rushing, you're rushing, you really have to think about this. And I'm like, oh, no, I've thought about this. Like, I've already been doing this. Like, this is, I know now. I'm 100% certain. I did all my research. Um, and, and then the, between that and the hormones and the working out, I mean, like, I just want more of it and I want it as soon as I can get it. And I feel like I've been waiting so long. So for some of you guys who are a little unsure, uh, maybe, uh, trying out the natural transition with the DHEA and the working out, maybe trying that as a precursor can help you be certain. Cause like I said, I wasn't certain about the hormones. I knew I wanted top surgery more than anything. I wasn't certain about the hormone, and the DHEA and the ZMA really solidified that for me. So maybe it can help uh, other other guys with that too. That being said, you know there are some permanent changes from you know going on these supplements. You know, like my hair growth, uh, that might grow in like that forever. So I mean, like I can shave it; it's it's not really a big deal. But I don't know. You know, people decide they don't want facial hair and they don't want to transition. Then having a little thicker hair might bother people. So, I mean, you know, there, there are drawbacks, of course. You know, you are screwing with the hormones and you're still affecting your body. So you might go on these supplements and decide, oh, I don't want to transition, but since I tried this, I already have these little changes. So you, you have to accept that as, as the risk, but um, it's kind of like, you know, putting one foot in the door before you step through. Uh, you know, you're still gonna get mud on your boot, you know, if you decide not to step out that door. So uh, keep that in mind. But I honestly, it really helped me uh, solidify that this was everything I wanted. Um, and I just, I can't wait. Uh, it just thinking about it all makes me so happy. And I'm, uh, I hope guys that, you know, pursue natural transition for whatever reasons, whether it's it, instead of hormone treatments, or because that's all they can do, like for me, it was all I can do for a while. I hope you also have the results um, that are good for you, that, that are what you need um, at the time, because it really helped me having that. Okay, um, wow, I am rambling a lot, um, but I guess I just feel like the natural transition thing was a big experience for me, and I think it can be a big experience for a lot of other guys out there too. 
So if, if you feel like there's something I didn't cover, I think I just covered the supplements, the working out, um, and the physical changes and the emotional changes too. If I am missing something about my natural transition, um, let me know. 